Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video. Welcome to Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Now today, I thought I'd take you on a supermarket tour. Now I actually came to this area of town for something completely different and I stumbled on this supermarket right behind me by mistake. And I know everybody loves supermarket tours and I did a quick poll on Telegram and everyone said do a tour. So I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk around and check it out. <laughs> I didn't actually plan to do this tour today. I did have in mind to go to a supermarket between yesterday and tomorrow when I go home, but I came across Magnum Super. Uh, I did a quick Google of them, and they have 230 stores here in Uzbekistan, and they've only been around for less than three years, which is just phenomenal. If that's correct, what I'm reading, as we walk in, corn and Twix, two very well-known promotions. Actually, I didn't show the baskets. They've got plastic shopping trolleys. Now, a lot of people told me it's shopping carts. And these are plastic, not metal. On the other side, they do have the more traditional hand baskets and pull carts. These are something that we see commonly in Russia, but here, they have both options, the hand baskets and then the trolleys. Now this is actually a very big supermarket. It's in a five level shopping center. And I actually came to look at something quite specific in another store. And I thought, why not? Have a look at the big M&M's display right here with actually the country logo and theme on the build out right there. And then we've got a cafe. And for a minute, I was thinking it was saying Nescafe, but it says A Cafe, which is a bit of a different name. I wonder if it's a local brand or not. They've also got a bakery with fresh bread. Breads are a big deal in this country. And actually, these particular breads right here are the ones that they literally do fresh in the store and you can actually see the guy taking them out of the oven in the back there it's pretty neat to see this and then look at this you get the lady serving you the bread very nice and over here is a bit of a deli where they've got cheeses and hams and they do it by weight a little bit more bread and then the store opens out a little and then we come into the fruit and veg section and the one thing i noticed when i did a brief walk around is they don't have a lot of fruit and vegetables here now depending on when you're watching this video i might have either put a video on of a bazaar here or you're watching this first one or the other and the vegetables are very sparse on the display I've also got nuts. This is all paid by weight. Just scoop them into a bag and take what you want. And the fruit and veg section is done. Just the basics over there. And then potatoes over here. And they do have a bit of a meat section. Now the one thing a friend who lives locally here told me is people aren't coming to this kind of a supermarket typically to come shopping and they're gonna to go to bazaars or markets, or in Russia we call them rinooks. They've got some chips and snacks at this end. I think we all know Lay's chips. Actually in Moscow a few weeks ago, I had these chia at one of the food fairs that I went to. Interesting, they do actually have some Russian drinks here. Chernogolovka is a very well-known Russian brand. And then they just have some other local products. They do have Schweppes. Look at that, Dr. Pepper Cherry. That's something that's a little bit hard to get in Moscow right now. It's interesting. They've got the big Pepsi sign. I think it's around the other side though. Of course, Pepsi everywhere. And the orange drink they have is called Miranda. So plenty of Pepsi. And then what's going on on this side? 
It says Pepsi, but it's Coke. What's going on? Pepsi and Coke? You guys are in big competition with each other and you've got the wrong sign up on the wall. You need to sort that out, Mr. Coca-Cola man. If you're watching, big stack of Coke and Pepsi. One thing I've noticed in the couple of days that I've been here is Coke and Pepsi dominate the sugary drink category. Lots of juices. And everywhere you go, it's either Coke or Pepsi and they've got the fridges, they've got advertising, signage. It's a little bit more fruit and veg here, but very little, very little. It's very interesting for a supermarket that there's so little uh, fruit and vegetables. And there's some, I think these are like a frozen ice cream, I think. These are the freezers right here. And then their deli section with uh, hams and different things like that. I wonder if they have horse meat somewhere. I'm sure they do. It's a very popular meat here. And one thing that's interesting, all their fridges are all glass doors as well. And then over here they've got the eggs locked away in the fridge. Well, they're just basically in glass door fridges, but all the eggs Plenty of choices available. And what they have down here, I think they've got some fish products. Very little seafood options here. I do hope you're enjoying this tour of a Uzbekistan typical supermarket. Now this is actually the first one I've been to in the time that I've been here. And I essentially just wandered by it. So I thought it was a bit of a bonus to put this on the channel. Where I originally walked in, they had that deli section across from the bread. And they've got some ready meals over here. They've got some salad and some other cakes and pastries. And then some other cooked food. A little bit of local cuisine, I think. I don't really recognize anything. I think the only one I really recognize is pasta over there. And that's about it. But the thing is, have a look as I swing around. They've got a cafe here. How nice is this? You can come and chill out and relax. They've got power sockets on the counters so you can plug your devices in and relax in between shopping. Looks like in the middle island of the store here they've got promotional items and things that are on special. Now it does get a little difficult here with the currency exchanges because their value of their dollar it's got a lot of zeros on it and roughly 12,500 SOM equals one US dollar. That's the best way that I've been doing the exchange in my head for the last couple of days. All sorts of different things. Got some bag sweets and next to it I think this is soya sauce. Looks more like engine oil than soya sauce. Just all the different promotional things. Have some tea leaves, some oil. Just the uh, feeling I get walking around is the store doesn't feel full and not, you know, it's just stuff stacked up everywhere. There's plenty of things to choose from. Don't get me wrong, but it's just the way it feels when you walk around. It's like it's missing a few things here and there. All of the jarred. Uh, pickled vegetables and then canned vegetables like in Russia the same thing pretty much just peas and corn and then some canned olives as well it's definitely interesting walking around and Uzbekistan supermarket and comparing it with what a Russian supermarket would be like and all the different choices you know there's a lot of similarity and then suddenly when you start looking at some of the brands <laughs> you really don't recognize them and more than likely there's some domestic products here and not everything is coming from Russia or other CIS countries you'll see here again the drink fridges Pepsi, Coke, Fanta dominates <laughs> the fridges and a couple of different types of water as well we've got all of their pasta and oils right here a lot of the dishes 
in this country use a lot of cooking oil. And that's why you see the bigger five liter jugs there at the bottom. And then different types of pastas. One thing they do have here, and I've seen this also in Kyrgyzstan, is they've got a lot of pay by weight items that are more typical food items. So pasta, rice, and there's some other kind of uh, ingredients that you'd make plof with. And then you just scoop them and take them by the kilo if you like, or in different weights. Lots of flour here as well. And I think over here is different types of rice. There's another Pepsi fridge. This Pepsi salesman is doing an absolute masterstroke in sales or teaching the Coke guy how to sell more Pepsi. Here is breakfast cereal. And then on this side, there is long life milk and then some healthy snacks. That's yeah, the best way to put these crackers and things like that. I mean, the shop is very spacious and there's a lot of room to walk around. Different butters and then some more uh, dairy products. When you look at the fridges, you see here the milk fridges and the one here with sour cream, they just don't look full. Now, as you walk around, you kind of feel that about how much stuff is on the shelves and how much isn't. Of course, they restock and they refill from time to time. But it just doesn't feel full, full to me. But maybe that's the style they're going for. All these chips everywhere. That's very normal, even in Russia. As I keep walking then, come to all of the personal items. There is an aisle here with some toys. As I've walked around, it's been really hot and warm in the store. It's actually quite cold outside. You come to the back of the shop now, and it's freezing back here in the kids section. It's like they've got a door open somewhere. It's quite interesting how cold it is back here. All of the baby foods. I think a lot of people may know the name Naan, which is very well known even in Australia. It's Nestle uh, powdered baby food. Is that the best way to describe it? You can see there's a good couple of aisles of kids stuff as well. Looks like they've got the Chinese version of Lego here. It's quite similar when you look at it and then when you get up close it's different. But how cool would it be? to get a space shuttle as a toy. That's pretty neat. They do actually have a couple of boxes of Lego, and otherwise it's all of this different Chinese version in the supermarket. Lots of choices of personal care items. There is aisle after aisle of different personal care items. The shop also, this is a little bit later in the evening that I'm here, so it's not particularly busy. The shopping center is crowded, let me tell you. And then coming into the supermarket, there's really no shoppers at all. This might be a good comparison with Russia and then here in Tashkent, is how little pet food they have. And Whiskers is a well-known brand. Actually, they've even got Miratok, which is the brand that is the meat brand in Russia. And that's it, literally one bay of each and you're done. And over this side, all of the cleaning products and washing up liquid. And have a look here at all of the Uzbek plates and bowls. And this is really cool. And we actually bought some of these and took them back to Australia for my mum. We bought them in Russia. And these are very cool. Most of them are all hand painted. Not particularly good for the dishwasher, but this is as local and typical as you get. And every restaurant you go and eat at, they've got these. And they're very cheap as well. They're not expensive, and no matter what shop you go to. The one thing I am very jealous of is they've got Kit Kat. And Kit Kat left Russia. 
We've got every brand of chocolate in Russia, except Kit Kat. And now what they said was Kit Kat is now good mix. And in this store, they've actually got the other brand of Kit Kat. And these are made in the factory where Kit Kat was made. But these I can't get in Russia. Is anybody a fan of Kit Kat? Let me know in the comments. Put in the comments, maybe Team Kit Kat for me. Let's see how many lovers of Kit Kat we have. Plenty of choices of washing powder and cleaning products. And actually in this section over here, it feels fuller and they've got all the shelves completely full with products and stocked and stacked. It's just the other part of the store that's got a different feel to it. It's very interesting, the difference. I've got a little homeware products back here again and then lots of washing powder. I always dread when my wife wants one of these and I've got to carry home the six or 10 kilo bag. And she's like, yeah, no worries. Bring one home on the bus with you. Bring it on the train. I've got more kitchenware here. I love those colored and painted ones. If I could figure out a way to get them to Australia and sell them in Australian shops, people would be fighting for them because they are so cheap and they're just so unique to Uzbekistan. Not sure these are truly unique. These reusable coffee cups. And that's almost the walk around. They do have these big bags of mixed candy. I'm not sure you know, the purpose of them. I guess you just buy a bag and put it on the table at home. They've got some chocolates, perhaps for International Women's Day coming up. It's not too far away. Plenty more snacks and biscuits and waffles. And this is popular in Russia as well, where there's just aisles of treats. I think that's the best way to describe it. Look at that. Anybody from America? Have you seen Florida cookies before? No, I've been to Florida, but I don't remember seeing Florida cookies. Is there such a thing in America? Someone let me know. I think also this country doesn't have any kind of domestic coffee production. So they'll either bring in the beans or ground coffee and then uh, produce it or manufacture it locally. Or let's say repackage it. Pretty much these are all the same ones that you see in Russia and the brands really aren't any different. And then over here, the tea section. Now I was told that the national drink of Uzbekistan is tea. And when you look here, there's very few teas. There's not that many of them. And if this is the national drink, you yeah, know, this should be double the size and the amount of stock. And there's really not that many choices. The national drink of Uzbekistan. Did anybody know it was that? Something else that's perhaps a little bit unique is they've got more pay by weight candy and snacks, but they've got waffles or wafers and tea biscuits and cookies. And there's even like goldfish. I think a lot of people know those around the world. And you can get those by weight rather than buying them in a bag. And you'll see here all the different types of cookies are all by weight. This is very unique. I've not seen this anywhere in Russia. Has anybody in another country got something like this? You can literally choose your favorite biscuit and get them basically with a scoop. Get as little or as much as you like. I think for my tour, I've got to do the full box and dice and show you all the parts of it. And the one thing that I noticed that's different here is they've got guys at the checkout. In Russia, it's always ladies. And here, it's young guys and they're standing up. They're not worried about the chairs. They're go-getters and they're eager to get people through the register and paid and left. And there's no stools. In Russia, it's very popular. They've got chairs for them to sit down on. And here, 
Not at all. It's basically get the work done and get the line cleared. As I walk on out of Magnum Supermarket, a Uzbekistan typical supermarket. Now, based on other supermarkets around the world, I'd say it is very typical. Probably not as full and as stocked as maybe comparing to Russian supermarkets. Definitely everything you possibly need in the one store. It's not <laughs> missing something. And maybe you saw something in there that you'd like or something that's different from where you live, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up or give it a like. And then if you want to follow me on Telegram, click the link right here. That little pop-up icon is right there. And then if you'd like to watch an older video on the channel, click this button and you'll be able to see an older video that you've not seen before. Okay, everybody, I'm off on another adventure. Bye.